Okay, today we're gonna go over one more movement screen for the shoulder um, that's really important for grappling injuries. And the last two we posted and this one, remember we're gonna cover in our live online workshop this Thursday, September 29th at 6.30. Make sure and sign up in our link. Um, we're gonna go over the movement screens and what to do if you fail the screens in order to improve that movement. So today's movement is we're looking at shoulder extension. Um, it's really important getting our arm behind us, especially for kind of arm drags, any pulling, so grips and pulling this way, or kind of basing our arm for technical stand-ups, anything where our arm's coming behind us, running, things like that. So as our arm comes behind, we should see a degree of internal rotation. And if we're lacking this extension movement, what we see in the shoulder is it, again, dumps forward, kind of like that missing internal rotation we covered. So as we arm comes back, we dump forward in order to buy space and we start to get anterior shoulder issues. We see it quite a bit. So a quick screen, clasp your hands behind your back, feet straight, squeeze your glutes, rib cage down. From here, we should be able to straighten the elbows and pull the shoulders all the way back. And we should be able to lift our arms 45 to 60 degrees off our back without seeing the shoulder dump, without kind of arching or doing anything funky with our back. So we should be able to get our arms back there. Test your shoulder movement. If you're tight, it might be the cause of some of your anterior shoulder issues and sometimes even the neck.